Fish brings you nothing but the best and today I bring you more of the best Andy Puss on Lake Erie but I did say the best didn't I that's right I have got the man himself the Mr. St. Clair Mr. Lake Erie that whole chain as promised earlier in the spring I am with Heath Wagner not only did he win the BFL division on this chain of lakes in 2018 he holds a state record for the largest Five fish limit of smallmouth bass by an individual angler only went 28 pounds to 15 ounces on this chain. Give it up for Heath Wagner. He, he, he's ready to do it. But you see, I'm not done yet. We're not done. See, I wouldn't got I got an all-star crew because hot off a third place finish in the BFL regional on Kentucky Lake just last weekend. You've seen him before. He's the man who's got a beard that makes ZZ Top look like a teenager. Carrie Fry ready to go. Uh, gentlemen, real quick question. Heath, what are we about to do? We're about to go hunt us some fish, Andy Bus. That's it, Mr. Fry. What do you say? We're going to hunt them up today. We got hunters some fish. You don't want to miss out. You got going on there, Gary Fry? Sit here in the middle, stand here in the middle, and stand here in the middle and wait on until he says, I'm tired. Wear him out. <laughs> look, at look at you. Look at you. Damn gum. I decided to play a little too. Yes. Put my point old box in here. Box is back here. Yeah, bad news for you, Heath. I think you just sat on the hook. I think so. Okay. Yeah, that's the best one yet. Oh boy, did he eat it too. Look at that. I can't see the hook. PK, I had to get it away from all my buddies. Do you need help? Maybe. That's real. I'm about six feet away. This is not the BFL. This is the hunter of fish, baby. I don't know how to land. Look how deep. Uh, look how deep that bait is in this mouth. He said, mm, oh, "Man, he wants mm, it." Monkey punch. Monkey punch, baby. We're gonna have to work on that a little bit. Well, maybe number we six will help out. We should call a little bit with this one.
that was cool. Keith, the hunter fish is training you to get to that level. That's what this is all about. So you think you're teaching me? We're preparing you. That's what's going on here. Okay. Well, we're trying to prepare you to catch a fish. So <laughs> oh, <laughs> just man. Like Put him in the boat! Yes, sir. <laughs> I carry fried it! <laughs> Put him in the boat! There you go, bud. Hooked up again! Come on, bud. Catch a big one, man. Yeah. Catch a big one, bud. Ah. Why did anybody catch a big one? It takes real skill to catch a. Just a little three pounder. Yeah. Just a little three pounder. We can't be having just a little. Three pounders. That's all right. That's all right. Get in the way. Get in the way there. Steal the camera time. Steal it. You gonna swing that fish, boss? Think about it. I don't know about that. Oh my god. Yes, that was done, sir. Oh my god. Yes, that was done, sir. <laughs> Believe it. To the hunter. Do you want to capture him? Yes, sir. Oh, well, barely hooked! Oh. Oh. oh, that is a professional landing job right there, buddy! Watch out for that now! Pay attention to the landing! Get in the boat! Get in the boat! Hey, it's not a bad start, but here's, here's the deal. We've had an okay morning. I mean, he, we, you know, he come out with heat wagon for the experience and the knowledge, and we take us to his first spot. We fished it for about 15 minutes, and didn't get a single bite heat. Nothing. No. No, so it's been okay, because then we come into a second spot, and in the next hour we caught how many keepers? We've had 23 keepers, got about 21 and a half pounds. Yeah, so an okay start today, okay. Not to mention, I think we all, I think I led the race in this one, lost some, some fish as well. We did. I, I'm pretty sure the one I lost was at least nine and a half. Hey, get out of my way. Get the heck out of my way. Oh! oh! But he, in this spot, what is unique about it? Anywhere, anywhere on Erie, no matter where you are on Erie, current is key. Whether that be wind generated current, there's always a natural current that flows to New York. You know, that's it. the water's going that way. But current is always key. Wind will change that current, it'll move it around a little bit, but no matter what, the water is always flowing to New York. So if you can get behind spots and figure out where fish are positioned, and one, one, one of the unique things about this place right here, we're fishing right here, is there's nothing here. Except that's not right, there's nothing here, so yeah. why are the fish here? The fish are here because we've, we're sitting in an eddy, and that eddy over the years has created a hard spot on the bottom, and there's just a little clean spot. How do you identify an eddy? Nah, I don't know. I'm the hunter of fish, and I see water. One, one of the, one of the Big key, water. If you get floating weeds out here on here, Oh, is that a sign? Floating weeds? Floating weeds will gather. We'll gather together and run current seams. And if you can get out here on a flat calm day and they're gathered up, you can really see where that where the water turns, where those weeds turn, where they follow that current. I fish I, I'll stop and just fish turns in the weeds sitting out here in the middle of nowhere on calm day. Uh, I'm not looking at bottom content, I'm not looking at high spots, low spots. The best spots on Erie have nothing. All right, so you the best spots. Are you ready to take us to the next best spot? I am. Giddy up. Hurry up and get him in here. I know. As I get older, I just like to take my time. Man. I like to give you 
good camera shots of fish swimming around in the water. It's definitely working right now. Hair jigs hanging out of their mouth. Five? Ah, look at that. Look at how you cradle up. That's a pretty good one, Mr. Boss. Three pounds. <laughs> Get up front, Wagner. Oh yeah, he's not very good. You're right, Carrie. Not very good pushing four. Hold that thing up, Mr. Fry. I'm on now. Japanese, you yeah, see? terrible ugly fish. <laughs> 29. Now, uh, roll three pounder. How you doing, buddy? Good. <laughs> All right. 26. A little bit healthier than the fish out there. Here's what I want to point out. Now, you've heard me on my video say a hundred times. Maybe not a hundred, but a lot. That when I put that red hook on there, they start to eat that red hook and I get better hook sets. That does not happen here. But you know who actually taught me that trick about the red hook many years ago? Heath Wagner, you know who that was? That was, I remember him. He's a real good looking guy. <laughs> he was, he doesn't have any hair now. But that was Heath Wagner who taught me that. Well gentlemen, that pretty much wraps up this episode of Hunter Fish. And I'm really happy I was able to show you how it's done out here on Lake Erie and the Detroit River. Hooked up. Oh. Hooked up. <laughs> and he lost him. Oh. Kerry really took uh, to how to throw a drop shot today. I did, he paid close attention, and he, I mean, he, I mean, he struggled throughout the day, but I was able to put him on a few fish as well. So, with all the tutelage and knowledge that I bestowed upon you guys today, if uh, I'm curious, how you would assess today, what you thought of the day, Heath, you've been here a few times. This is, I mean, my, this is my third time. Third time? Yeah. Third time? Yeah. Yep. And uh, for this, I mean, water temperature is 54 degrees, October 25th, and we caught 48 keeper 48 bass. Keeper. 48 keepers. And I would say at least three dozen of those were three pounds plus. Yes. And I don't know how many four pounders. I bet you're close to 20. So, how would you assess the day? Well, you know, it's a typical lake erie late fall early winter bite it only gets it can be better it can be worse depends on the weather it depends on what they do to them i mean it, it was nice to have a, just a, a super outstanding fisherman like andy bush with us today to show us how to catch them I'm, well no problem well no problem uh, yeah. but uh it it, it uh, you can have 20 fish days out here you can have i mean you get out here on the wrong day you can have zero fish days you can have a hundred fish days yeah, we, out here this time. i tell you what we we put a beat into them first thing this morning <laughs> we did well, we did first thing this morning and it was unbelievable and you talked about what you're looking for out here uh something i thought was really genius you talked about finding eddies well, how in the world do you find eddies in this stuff and you said it's genius you look for where the weeds are floating. The floating weeds are, are 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 one of the biggest obstacles of fishing Lake Erie. And when they come floating by, you get tired of them because they're always on your line, and you can't throw certain baits through them when they get too heavy. But they also show you where the current's moving. The weeds always gather up on the current. They flow with the current. They show you wherever they turn. There's an eddy. And if they stay put on a spot. And if they stay put, you're, that's your eddy. you're sitting on the eddy. You have got, you found the little gathering spot. I'll tell you what, it's stuff like that is exactly why you need to subscribe to this channel. You have it, Dab Gummer. I'm going to send Carrie over here with that beard to come get you. <laughs> now, Carrie, gosh darn, you killed it on a drop shot. <laughs> giving them a shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Getting a little healthier now. Yeah. Um, what? Tell me, what were you thinking? Well, uh, just tell me what was going through. 
How'd you do it? I'm just slinging around a little Z2. I mean, Heath is the one to put us on the fish. This is my first fall experience on Lake Erie. I gotta give it to Heath. <laughs> And Andy, I guess. I get no love. <laughs> I get no love whatsoever, I tell you. Okay. But, no, I just... I mean, you're, you're, I, what's your setup? I was throwing it on six-pound line with a little one-aught tro trocar drop shot hook. And uh, it's, it's the Z-Man scented jerk shad. The color was the deal. And your rod? Rod. The St. Croix uh, Legend Tournament. Seven-foot medium plastics uh, spinning rod. All right. All right, so any all the stuff we use today, all of it, rather it's he's hair jig that you, you tried. Because he likes hair jigs. He said, oh, hair jigs. I love them. He said, yes. All day long, and the a umbrella rig that really didn't produce a single fish, I don't believe, and the monkey punch, and... Uh, the drop shot tackle is in the description. So if you want to see what we've been using, rods, reels, line, whole nine yards, that's in the description. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, hundreds of fish having a blast with smallmouth bass. We'll see you in the water. Oh. <laughs> that's the carry fry. What do you weigh? Not the best you can do. He doesn't even call, Andy. Are you serious? He's 403. It's bull. That's bull. Four pounder, nice job. <laughs> no, that's not that's not bull. That's stupid. <laughs> that's stupid.